Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can run some commands without switching to root user. So in order to do that, we are going to use sudo. For example, let's just see some practical examples. Let's say that I would like to create some files under the etc directory. And file name should be my file, but it can be different, it doesn't matter. Let's just press enter. It says that permission denied. Because in order to run this touch command, you have to be root user. But you can also use sudo command without switching to root user. So I'm going to use sudo, then the command name touch, and I will create my file under the etc directory. Press enter. It asks for our password for this user. So I'm just going to write my password. And it says that this user is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. So actually the solution is very simple. Since this user is not in this file, so we are just going to add the user to sudoers file. But where this file is located? This file is located under the etc directory. In order to add the user to the sudoers file, you have to switch to your root user. And it means that you have to know the password for your root user. I'm just going to switch the root user. So su dash presenter, write your password, and I am a root user now. So let's just see this sudoers file. I'm going to use vim editor. Under the etc directory, we have sudoers file. Press enter. You see we have some fancy text here. Actually, like some of them are comments. And you can also see some examples here. So, but our solution will be here. As you see that it says allow root to run any commands anywhere. So we have a root user and it's allowed to run any commands anywhere. So we are just going to add our user to here. But before that, I would like to show you something. So here, as you see that it says this file must be edited with vsudo command. So let's just use this command instead of editing using vim. I'm just going to exit this file. So colon q and exclamation mark, which means that it will not save this file. If you have made some changes, it will not save that change. Just press enter. Now I will use vsudo command. Let's write vsudo enter and under the root, where is that? Okay, here. Now we are just going to add our username. We have to be in the insert mode. So just press I letter. And as you see that in the left corner of the screen, we just it says that it's right now it's in the insert mode. So I'm just going to write my username hkin2 and I'm just going to repeat the same thing here. All, all, and the last all says that all commands. So let's write all. And escape colon wq and it will save your file. Press enter. Now let's switch to our user. So hkin2. Right now we are hkin2 user. Now I will create I mean I will repeat this command here again. Let's just copy it. Press it here. Press enter. Okay, it says permission denied. Now let's use sudo command. As you see that previously it gives the errors that the user is not in the sudo file. But let's use the command again. Press enter. It asks for the password for this user. I'm just going to write my password. And as you see that the command was successful. So it means that you just create the file under the etc. Let's just see that. Let's use a little option, etc, my file, press enter. You see that the file is created, but the file owner and the file group is root. You can also have some situation that you want your user only perform some specific commands. For example, let's say that you have a user and you want that the user should only use touch command. The user cannot use the, for example, make directory command. Let me show you some examples. I'm just going to add some user. Let's say that it should be test user. 
user at test user okay it permission denied because we have to be a root user just switch to root user and user add test user the username is test user press enter now our user is added I'm going to set some password test user like a simple password one two press enter one two press enter okay we have the user called test user and the password is one two let's switch to this user so dash our test user okay now I would like to perform this command touch etc let's say that it should be test file permission denied because we have to use sudo sudo touch etc test file now it asks for the password for this user it is like one two press enter so this user is not in the suders file so basically we need to add the user to the suders file but i want that the user the called test user should only run touch command right now in this case this user cannot run this command right make directory for example etc let's say that test directory and if you add sudo it will say that like it asks for the password one two but again it says that the user is not in the suders file so we have two commands make directory and we have touch command and i want that the user can run let's say that touch command so it should be allowed to run touch command using sudo but it shouldn't be allowed to run make directory command using sudo so i'm just going to set it let's switch the root user let me clear the screen let's use the sudo command press enter and we have here the configuration okay here okay the user h in 2 is allowed to run any commands anywhere but i would like to add test user command and it should be all equals to all this is not about commands but if you remember that i said the third all the latest all option is it means that it will be allowed to run any commands anywhere so if we write touch for example it should be allowed to run touch command right so let's just save this file s colon wq it is saved it says that there is a syntax error near line 102 let's see that okay we should do if you want to see like 102 the line 102 you can just write colon set number actually our file is not saved we edited we write some commands there but it's not saved so actually it is because the we shouldn't write the only command name we should write the pass name of that command let me show you let me just exit this file colon q exclamation mark enter so we have the command touch right we have command touch and we have command make director right so the, basically when you run these commands the linux uses some binary files but where are those files are located let's see that if you run which touch it will show you the past name of this command i mean it will show you the directory so we have this directory user bin and under this directory we have this touch command also it is true for the make directory command under the user bin we have make directory command so if you want your user only be allowed to run this touch command we should add this pass instead of all so i'm just going to do that let's use vsudo again vsudo now under the root i mean where we set the our users okay 
so here I will add the username the username is test user so it should be all equals to all and for the command I will write the pass so it should be under the user bin and we have the command name touch let's save this file escape colon wq enter so now right now our suders file is set now let's switch to the our user it is test user press enter if you want to run touch command now touch etc let's say that test file press enter it's not a lot because we have to use sudo now like sudo command name and the file you want to create press enter it asks for the password for this user password is one two and right now it is created let's see that so under etc we have test files you see that this test file is created and the owner of the file is root also group is root but if you want to run make directory command etc let's say that it should be test directory enter permission denied because we have to use sudo enter it says that the user test user is not allowed to execute this make directory command so as you see that in suders file we only added the command touch now let's add just this make directory command so let's switch to root user su dash enter password sorry something is wrong let me just clear the screen okay let's do this sudo again and here i will also add this make directory command here just put some comma and then user bin and our command name press like let's say this file escape colon wq right now let's switch to our test user so now i would like to run make directory command again make directory etc test directory it's not a lot because i have to use sudo sudo make directory etc test directory press enter as you see that our folder is just created let's see that this directory is created or not so ll etc test directory press enter and as you see that the command was successful by the way you can also use like echo dollar and the question mark so if the output of this command is zero then it means that the command that you run previously was successful press enter as you see that it is zero but let's run some command that will give some error for example like this one press enter so it says command not found but if you use echo dollar sign question mark press enter as you see that it gives some numbers and it means that the command previously run was not successful so but in this case our output is zero so it means that this command was successful and it means that this test directory is just created i hope you already learned how to add the user to the suders file but please do not forget that you have to know the password for the root user in order to add the username to the suders file so that's it from my side i hope i will see you in the next video